Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We're back with Project Cherokee. And I want to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Don't forget to check out the website. It's awesome. Project Cherokee, uh, in the last video, we basically did the motor mount and the spur assembly on the transmission itself now we're at uh, step 24 and that's the, going to be in your bag e uh open they say open bag plastic on your draft shaft itself all these bits here i took off using my side cutters itself the only ones i didn't is these guys here because they do give you three of them uh this smaller guy is going to be for him here let's put that aside they do give you three sizes different depending on the wheelbase you do. Looking at this guy here, it's a little bit too big. That's the perfect size, a little bit too small. Trim this away. Trim that one away. Do not throw these guys away. Keep them with your box. If you ever decide one day to change your wheelbase, You'll be happy to have them. If not, you'll need to buy new ones. We'll put these guys aside. Now, physically, we need a smaller shaft here. We need one of these guys. They do insert directly in the plastic. If they want to stay. Grab your Loctite. This is TLR Loctite that I have. You could use pretty much any Loctite there is out there. Even go to uh, one of your local uh, shop. Here you can grab it. A couple of shops we have Canyon Tire. Uh, you can even auto shop. They'll have access to a Loctite. Or even at greathobbies.com. And you're going to go in the middle of the shaft and just physically screw it in. When you feel it's tightened, just give it a little bit of a nudge, leave it alone. Your first one's done. Let's do our second one here, always using the book as a reference. <clears throat> Have our screw. A little bit of Loctite. You don't need to douse the complete screw itself. Just put a small uh, line on it. That's, while you're screwing it in, it will go everywhere. Now we do have these two here done. While we're on it, let's do the bottom ones here. screws there we go the second one bit of Loctite on it. Now there is uh, physically upgrades you can buy for this guy here. MIP makes them. That might be a future video. <clears throat> now we'll need one end cap, two, we'll need four end caps. Again, the other guys, put them aside. You will need them in the future. Now let's grab our... What do you really call these guys? You could call them caps at the same time. Grab one of your, uh, your shafts. You grab one of these barrels. 
you'll notice, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera here. Really not sure if she wants, if she's gonna focus. Come on. She really doesn't want to focus, right? Vice versa, you see my driver goes through it. There is a hole. You want to align the hole in the middle of the slot right here. If I grab my driver, it goes in. Now it becomes a teetotter. You try to keep that hole aligned in that center. You grab your cup. Now on your cup, there is another hole right here. And basically that makes your axle movement. Okay. You grab one of the pins. Sometimes the pin are a little bit of a pain. You insert it. Now this is where this cover comes in play. Pop the cover over the holes. And this keeps your pin of your CBD intact. That way it doesn't fall off. Now this cap, it's easy to remove while you put it aside. Let's try to remember that can fall. Then we just repeat the other steps that are the same. <laughs> this one here does not want to cooperate. No, 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 no. Here we go. You'll, see, you'll notice some of them sometimes are just easier to put to put in than the other ones. Always depends how the metal was shaved off, shaved off or shaved, should I say? I'm having hard times with my words today. <clears throat> Link, find our pin. And this is the last one. There we go. Almost lost that one. And we do have our caps, where caps are middle center of our dry shafts. Now, basically, if we go to the other here page, uh, step 26 that tell us to install directly to the transmission The only thing I won't do these guys I'll do but these guys here I don't simple reason if I don't put anything on this end they will fall off but there is a Kind of another way you could go if you go back further in your book here there's another bag that you need to open to grab the pins that hold the dry shaft to the physical axle itself. You could turn around and just put the pin inside the hole here if you want to. And just physically screw it. That will prevent from the cap popping out. Now this is what I'm going to do. 
Now these cap cannot pop out. These guys still can, but these are the ones I'm going to install on the transmission here. Remove this cap. Now if you, you have to pray, make sure, hold your transmission like this. The longer one will go in front, the shorter one will go in the back. I'll grab these guys here in the meantime. Now if you guys do hear a little bit of noise in the background, you can say I do have an assistant here with me. We did not prepare for this step I just announced. He's looking for the other screws. Now sometimes try, trying to locate where the screw goes in is a little bit tricky. I basically just turn around and use my driver. You want to make sure it's out on the other side and it's solid. Just try to align the hole more straight. When you be when you go with your pin here, it's just going to be a lot easier. Now, sorry if I do go a little bit off camera. I don't think you want to see the top of my head. <clears throat> and there we go. Put this guy aside. Grab my two pins. Just going to insert it. Come down a bit just again to prevent from losing the pin that makes the CVD. Kind of a bad design they did on this one here. The older style they had, they had a cap that was go on top of it here and lock itself. But they decided to do it differently on this one here. If you have guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.